to tell you about favor or blessing from unexpected sources. I want to talk to you about four people in the Bible. Four people in the Bible whom did not seek a blessing but blessings came in search of them. That's beautiful, isn't it? You're just bumping into a blessing, something like that. Oh, what did I just bump into? It's like Samiksha going into the Vipro office and then suddenly he sees into his cubicle uh, oh, gift hamper where it, his whole life is done. What did I just bump into? Hallelujah. That sort of... I, I, you know, when you... If that word usage is correct, when you bump into the blessings of God, friend, you're changed forever. You're changed forever. Hallelujah. And that blessing uh, put me out of Infosys to, to take the Lord for Jesus. Hallelujah. Once you offer your life to be a source of blessing, brother, sister, it's just beautiful. Of course, pains are there. There are struggles that come along with it. But you know that you have bumped into a blessed place. Friend, you are here in Shelter House. Not that it's, it's not by accident you are here. You have just bumped into some blessing. Amen. Not because of Pastor Ashley, but because of the pure word of God that is preached week after week from the pulpit. And somebody who found it a blessing said, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you four, four, four places where they just touched into a blessing. And their lives were changed forever. Hallelujah. You're ready to come this journey with me today? This Sunday, lift your hands and say, I'm ready for this journey. To just bump into a blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody said, praise the Lord. Genesis 29 and verse 31. Genesis 29 and verse 31. It's there in the screen. You can also mark it. And he went in also unto Rachel. And he loved also Rachel more than Leah and served with him yet seven other years. And come on, let then, then, then read it. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Hallelujah. Now you know the story here. Hallelujah. Jacob came into his, after all his, by, he wanted a blessing. By deceit, he got a blessing. He came to Father Isaac and said, Isaac said, Son, your voice is like Jacob, but uh, uh, your body is like... We all have that double mental, double identity. Hallelujah. When we come into the presence of God. Lord, you... But God sees, okay? It's not like Isaac who cannot see. You... He's, the, he's telling the same thing. Your voice is like... Uh, be a believer but your body is like an unbeliever hallelujah somebody said praise the lord so he by deceit got the blessing and started his journey he came into Padanaram and he made his uncle into his brother now i don't understand that connection there rebecca was his mother and the bible says laban was rebecca's brother but if you see the address which they both do, at least in King James Version, for Sujo study. Well, I just, I'm, I'm not a Bible college graduate. Well, he's also not, but we are not together. Uh, well, uh, he's addressing him as brother, not uncle. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. How are you, bro? That, that, that usage has come off late. Bro, how are you, bro? Amen. They got jealous of our usage, probably. They came and they came into Laban's house and Jacob love at first sight. Rachel. I would like to have Rachel as my wife. He went and said, bro, I liked your second daughter. Can you please give me? He said, oh, very well. You can do it. No problem. I will serve you for seven years. And, it's, and the seven years, the Bible clearly says it just went like this. Because with the love he wanted, Rachel. Some people, if they work like that, no. <laughs> Many churches I have seen people working for this and like this. Sadly, in our church, it's all family and oldies. Nobody wants to come here. <laughs> but many other churches, there are a lot of youngsters gathering. And, ah, 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 what fellowship? What a fellowship? What? A, even if you say, friend, don't come and clean the church, they will come. 
rightly on time take the broom and sweep hallelujah the thing we all have this for something which we love we try giving our life and savings and everything somehow to get that laban was waiting for it and he said seven years are over bro please okay where well, i'll send laban sent the first one the bible says leah was not that bad okay she was tender eyed bible says she was tender eyed but many translations give her different eye tender eyed means good eye for her also if she was tender eyed and uh, La, uh, jacob ah uh, this is my night come on my dear they had the veil and all no brother they had the customs it's not that they see so they had the veil and they sealed the marriage morning ma le rachel ma konja tea he looked at her and he became tender eyed what did this have what happened what just happened what when how when why <laughs> he went to say bro what did you say guess you made some mistake it was a big mistake bro said in our culture when the elder one is there we won't get the younger one married he took the nag policy and said policy our policy statement you didn't read the policy how many of you have heard that have you read the policy <laughs> our policy states when the elder one is there the younger man should not get married he said okay very fine another 7 years i will wait then also he waited and lay so twice he was fooled by his uncle because he twice fooled esau well, however see one thing is there you might be the most blessed man but whatever you sow you will even more in abundance now esau didn't have all these things he he went on his way but he lost the blessings of god that's the big 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 mistake but now jacob has two wives one is leah one is rachel he liked leah or well, rachel more than leah. leah and when god saw that when god saw that remember there's a god who sees it all when the people who are called to love you hate you you are in for a blessing hallelujah people who are called to love you hate you my dear brother my dear sister there is a god in above who is seeing it all there is a father up above who is looking with eyes below hallelujah when people who are who ought to encourage you hate you when people who call, who are in that position to uh, to to what do you say to give you mentorship to promote you to make you into that uh, hallelujah into the destiny which you have when the people are closing their eyes on you let me tell you there's a God eyes wide open and believe me there is going to be one two three four blessing after blessing get ready your womb is about to open somebody said praise the lord hallelujah oh i feel like preaching i promised you i will preach today hallelujah when people who are called love, to love you hate you you are in for a blessing they may be around but the bible says hallelujah the lord shall prepare a table before me in the presence in the presence of my enemies Hallelujah get ready friend get ready brother this is a word for you you might be facing hatred from unexpected sources and you might be crying lord why this happened let me tell you it's for your womb to open Amen. hallelujah hallelujah and the lord went further and said to me he spoke to me when you see the world hating you church get ready your womb is about to open there are many here around who doesn't like the existence of this church there are many mlas big party people who do not like the existence of the church but let me tell you we are into the final days of the lord's coming which assures the lord's coming and i'm ready to tell you i'm about to tell you leah you might be hated by jacob but you are loved by god one after the other your womb is going to open up and you're going to bear children somebody lift your hands and say i thank god that i am 
just bumping into my blessing when people hate me. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the Lord! My ways are higher than your ways, saith the Lord. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are... It's a strictly no. Hallelujah. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. For as high as the heavens are high above the earth, so high are my thoughts and plans for you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody get encouraged. Put your hand of the person sitting next to you and say, get encouraged, buddy. Get encouraged, sister. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. When the world hates you without reason, you're going to get a blessing beyond any reason. And look at what happened in verse 32. God opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Number one, Leah conceived and bare a son. Hallelujah. And she called him Reuben, for she said, surely. Everybody say, surely, surely, surely. The Lord hath looked upon my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Look at still that lady's innocence. Hallelujah. Look at that lady's desire. Hallelujah. Now I bore him Reuben. Now perhaps he will love me. Reuben, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord means behold a son. Hallelujah, behold a son. I am having a son. With this son, I will get my love to my husband. And my husband will love me. That was what Leah expected. Leah did not close. God did not close Leah's pregnancy cycle there. Another one came up. His name was called Simeon. Simeon means being obedient, listening. Hallelujah. Listening to the Lord. Behold a son listening hallelujah put these meanings together behold a son who is listening hallelujah praise the lord it didn't finish there hallelujah the third one came out called levi levi means attached attached no wonder the priest the tribe of levi was the most attached to the lord's presence hallelujah when blessings come your way it's not time to detach from god's blessings it's time to write your blessing as levi because this levi will get attached to the lord's presence hallelujah every blessing you get should get that attachment to the lord it didn't stop there last came judah not last but in this cycle first innings hallelujah first innings last judah judah means praise hallelujah without your blessing being turned into praise hallelujah your blessing cycle will not stop somebody said praise the lord oh somebody said hallelujah every blessing you pour out i'll turn back to praise hallelujah she started with reuben Ended with ended our first innings, in fact, with praise. Judah praise. Hallelujah. I believe through this time she must have overlooked her husband's attachment probably and she prays. But again, the Bible says she again longed for her husband's acceptance and then second innings had, I don't have time to go into uh, the first innings, second innings, third innings, fourth innings. Totally there were four innings. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, the second praise, I want to tell you once again, that when you are hated by the world, when you are hated by those who are called to love you, you are in for a blessing. You are in for God's grace in your life. You are in for your womb to be opened. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second unexpected source of blessing. Exodus chapter 1, 20 and 21. Exodus chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. Therefore, God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very greatly. Verse 21. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them houses. In NIV it says... He gave them families. Hallelujah. Now, these are Egyptian midwives. You know what midwives are? Those times they didn't have rainbow hospital and uh, cradle and uh, cloud nine. When a lady is going to pain, you put her in cloud nine or cloud... Uh, <laughs> you are not in the cloud anywhere. Hallelujah. Just that you have to give a greater perk. Hallelujah. If you are in cloud nine, you have to give cloud nine... Dud goody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anyway, cloud nine or birthright or rainbow. Hallelujah. Motherhood. Motherhood. Uh, motherhood. A lot of things are there. Uh, amen. 
these midwives were the nurses that time. They had to nurse people. They had to help them in delivery. They were experienced people who, who did not go for uh, Ramaya College nursing and all. No, they didn't go for Ramaya College nursing. They didn't, they didn't have any experience. But they are, hallelujah, experienced hands. They know how to bring out the child. Now, they were asked by the Pharaoh of the land. Just go one verse before. Hallelujah. 18. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives. Just, just... Uh, put a little more uh, uh, yeah verse uh, 16 when you do the office of a midwife can we read together to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools if it be a son then ye shall kill him but if it be a daughter then she shall live but the midwives feared God and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them but the saved the man children alive when the enemy did Increase a degree against you. Child of God, if you are called by God, he will not let a knife cut your head. Hallelujah. Because that's God's power for you. In your office, there are many people who are against your promotion. There are many people against your growth. How many of you know that you have frenemies in your offices? That's a new term. Friends, they change their color. When they, want, when they want to gossip about the manager, they will take you as a friend to coffee day. But when you get a promotion, they will get, catch the other fellow and go and say, that fellow is our enemy. They are called frenemies. You are surrounded by frenemies. But let me tell you, frenemy or enemy, it will not affect you because God who called you is faithful if there is an order in the office to kill you there will be an order from heaven to keep you alive hallelujah hallelujah the ha hands of the world is limited in their power the thrones of the world is limited in their power but there is one throne there is one who sits on the high and exalted throne he ruleth over all of his government there shall be no end Somebody praise the Lord. When Pharaoh was against the people of God in Egypt, he raised up normal midwives so that the Hebrew children will be alive. Amen. See, you needn't look for the authorities' favor and all those things. Someone will come in your life that will keep you alive, that will promote you, that will prosper you, that will keep you in good, good, good shape. Hallelujah. Now, what happened there? Shipra and Pua are the two Hebrew mid midwives to the Hebrew. They were Egyptians, but they did not fear the king's edict because they feared God more. Hallelujah. These midwives had the fear of God. These days, there are people in the occupation who are so wild. You understand what I'm telling? See, a nursing profession is supposed to be a kind profession. A doctor's profession is called to be a kind profession. A teacher's profession is said to be a mentoring gentle one. But in Bangalore, from, let me tell you about ours. Anywhere you go, you see this. And with those things, you come to me and look. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? All IT guys' wives are in the schools. They fight with the husbands. They don't see them. They go and control our children. What teacherhood they have. Hallelujah. Precious people of God. In this world of competition, in the world of sorrow, don't be another frowner, but give a smile and bring the love of Jesus. Last week, one person said, one smile can bring a soul to Jesus. One smile can bring a soul to Jesus. That doesn't mean that you have to be like air hostess who doesn't mean like, Hi sir, come on. He'll be like, oh. <laughs> and they are ready to tell bye, 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 bye. I have someone else hooked up to. <laughs> anyway, we are not calling. Some churches they have that. They call. They have nothing to do. Yes. <laughs> I am telling our assuring team, do not give any fear, don't frown at them, that's all. But welcome them gently, hallelujah, praise the Lord and welcome them and assure them into the house of the Lord. Now Shipra and Pua were two midwives. They came to the Hebrew children and they feared God and did not kill them. And the Bible says, Bible says in verse, hallelujah, 18, the king of Egypt 
he was the biggest emperor at that time he is not like any other person the king of egypt called the midwives and said what have you done these things he got the report the men children are still alive they are growing they are multiplying people of israel are multiplying like tang 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 one person is giving twins and thrice and all, a lot of population explosion in egypt because of the children of god and hallelujah praise the lord if you are in the church of god your stomach has no right to become barren Amen. you will keep on keep on giving <laughs> hallelujah one man of god said we need more layers than beautiful rachels hallelujah keep on producing hallelujah church growth will grow hallelujah praise the lord so we need and these people came to pharaoh and said pharaoh it's not something that they told a lie for a good reason the third i'm there i'm i'm going to finish it don't worry second samuel 6 and verse 11 second samuel 6 and verse 11 so the first uh unexpected source of blessing is hated by those who are supposed to love second helping people helping is a is a way in which you are bumping into a blessing so if you want a blessing keep helping people somebody said praise the lord ah uh, yeah that's the, that's the truth the, the third thing is hallelujah if uh, in second samuel 6 and verse 11 so david would not remove the ark of the lord unto him into the city of david but david carried it aside into the house of obed edom the hittite and the ark of the lord continued in the house of obed edom the hittite 3 months and the lord blessed obed edom and all his household next verse you read that's even better and it was told king david saying the lord hath blessed the house of obeyed edom and all that pertained unto him because of the did david sit and say praise the lord let it stay some more time there <laughs> you look what david did he went and brought up the ark of the lord god from the house of obeyed edom into the city of david with gladness hallelujah the third source of god's blessing is hosting the presence of god hallelujah now this ark had a very tough this ark was uh, not that great okay because when david went and took it when david went and took the ark of god what happened is they put it in the bullock cart now the ark of the go- ark of god had to be borne only by levites only by priests but david did something very foolish he said now no levites and all we will put it in a good good modern uh, bullock cart we will put the ark of the lord in the bullock cart and send it now what happened when bullock cart did, went from 0 to 100 uh, km per hour the ark started falling one person who really loved the ark he did not do any wrong he just wanted to shield the ark of the if the ark of the lord falls it's big thing no so he went and shield the ark margaya died hallelujah david got very angry what is this you touch the house ark of god you are immediately dying what sort of ark is this i don't want this ark i don't want this and what did he do he went and put it in he went and knocked the door of obed edom i am the king of israel nobody wants the ark you keep it that night his blessing started he didn't do anything he just kept the ark of god in his house slowly the blessing started dripping into his household his uncle auntie relative everybody <laughs> hallelujah if you host the presence of god you become a cha- you bump into a blessing and you become a channel of god's blessing hallelujah you understand what i am trying to tell you many do not like the word jesus but once jesus the name of jesus came into your life when his presence came with his name when his presence came with this person hallelujah it started blessing your life and i want to tell you one thing friend my dear brother my dear sister if you see some element of blessedness in my life if i am carrying this thing hallelujah and coming and preaching it's not because of any tom dick and harry it's not because of anything else it's because of the name of jesus it's because of the name of jesus if you are seated there in that chair hallelujah and hearing the word of god from this broken vessel i want to tell you it's because of the name of jesus the blessed name of jesus once the name of jesus comes into your life you bump into a blessing and you become a source of blessing somebody <coughs> 
Oh, hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love Jesus. Not because of the blessing I serve him, but I love him. I love him. I love him. And when I have the Ark of the Covenant in my life, the blessing starts moving and it will reach the king's ears hallelujah amen hallelujah that's why i said television will not bring you a blessing serials will not bring you a blessing all your saris and kurtas will not bring you a blessing if at all something will bring you a blessing it's the name of jesus host the presence of god hallelujah it's disgrace if you get that big car of yours and not put a cd in it and enjoy god's presence it disgrace to the word name of God if you are having a big home theater like Joshua's hallelujah Bose theater system and the word of God is not running there hallelujah praise the Lord be a source of anointing hallelujah if you have the presence of God people will come to you if you have the presence of God blessings will start coming upon you and your household you might have received the Lord Jesus for the first time hallelujah but through you I, I, I want to tell probably someday Naveen and Lakshmi Amma should tell their testimony. I, I have not heard fully of your testimony. But one thing is sure, many people wrote you off. Many people told Lakshmi Amma's family will not prosper. I am prophetically telling you, you didn't tell me anything. Many thought they are going to write you off. But in front of them, you are lifting your heads because of the blessed name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How many of you love the Lord Jesus? Put your hands together and give him a shout of praise. Ora ba ka ba ra ba ra di kerebe, ora ka ba ra da ra di kasa ta ra da ra da ra de. Because the name Jesus came into my life. I am who I am. Be a carrier of God's word. Nothing greater than that. My, I, sometimes I feel so bad when circle leaders tell me, in my house only pastor there is a meeting. I want people to raise a head to tell, bring, keep a meeting in my house. Keep a meeting in my house. Let the word of God dwell richly, richly in your house. Amen. Amen. I still remember those white, those pastors, old people who used to come to my house. I used to love seeing their sight. Blessed men of God. They didn't have a jeans or thing like it. Probably they thought it was not worthy of them to wear that. Yeah, they counted it like that. I'm wearing it with joy and happiness but I still can't forget the blessings I still remember men of God who came to our house we served them so much that God blessed me that I become a man of God I was not in a pastor's family but a pastor's family took, took me in hallelujah Yesterday, Pastor Johnson and me were together in one issue. We both haven't gone to any Bible college. He said, Pastor, forget about Bible college. Sit in his presence. Get one word. It will shake the nation. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, let's, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's not about how much we know. But all that you know, if it's Jesus, you're in for a blessing. Hallelujah. How many of you really love the Lord Jesus? The next is being hospitable. We will just read that also. And then we will love the Lord here in this place. Hebrews 13 and verse 1. Those men of God used to come to my house. They will say, can you give them more yellow, more curry? That used to make it gladly. They used to bless us. They used to bless us. There is, no, there is nothing more blessed a man of God coming into your life now we are all men of God but every time every time every time when I meet someone I say thank you thank you for your grace thank you for your grace when you meet when you host the presence of God hosting God's presence throw off all the unwanted CDs from your house they don't have a name or portion in Jerusalem 
they don't have i'm not telling it to do a very bad act do a very sad act some people say pastor christianity is very boring i cannot see if william movie and all i am telling you you are not into christianity yet you have not seen the taste of jesus yet there is nothing greater than the name of jesus there is nothing sweeter than the name of jesus even if he demands everything i am ready to give it all hallelujah oh there is a lot of anointing this let brotherly love continue let brotherly love say continue that doesn't mean sisterly love should stop let sisterly love also continue let sisterly love brotherly love continue be not forgetful to entertain strangers or be hospitable to strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares see what paul was doing in this issue was there was a big persecution there was a persecution going on and people did not accept refugees you know refugees they come they were not they were not willing to open up their homes so paul is telling see many people are coming but let brotherly love continue because if you know a stranger and do good to the stranger you will entertain host angels so don't look for of course you have to look for times to host people whom you know but you should look for times to host strangers also let them also hold a special place in your life hallelujah